and this method will return the connection and first of all in the last video I've shown you how to create a try catch block so just uh, make a quick try catch block try catch and it will take exceptions so just write exception E and if any exception occurs I will show it in option pane dot show dialog or show message dialog right dot show message dialog okay and now I will just pass null here as the first argument and the second argument I will pass as the exception message so I will pass this E itself here okay so in this tribe block what we need to do is first of all we need to define the class for connection to the SQLite so we will write class dot for for name and this will be in the double quotes this will be org dot SQLite dot JDBC in capital okay and don't forget to give this semicolon here so this will be like this org dot SQLite dot capital JDBC and this is showing error right now because we are not returning anything but once we return the connection it will not show this error so for first of all let's create the connection so connection con is equal to write driver manager dot get connection and this will be the connection so in this double quotes as an argument you will write jdbc jdbc and then colon sqlite because we are using sqlite sqlite colon and now you will give the path of your uh, database where your database is present so my database is present at this path so i will copy this path or what I can do I will right click on my database go to the property security and I will copy all the path from here okay copy all the path and I will paste it here okay and it will show error because I will show you why it will show error but first of all I need to add the name of this uh, database also so this database name is employee data dot sqlite so slash backslash employee what is it doing okay so it should have this database name employee data dot sqlite i will write employee data dot sqlite okay so first of all it's showing this error when you uh, when you write this because you need to add whenever you make your uh, path or whenever you give your path in uh, windows uh, you need to give double slashes everywhere here instead of single slash as a path okay and just end this like this now it will not give any error okay and once you have your connection you will return your connection so just write return con and as soon as you return something here you will be able to see that this error will go so in here also we will return null return 
null and now the error will go okay so this is the connection class which we will use to connect to the database okay now once we have this connection class we are ready to make the login form right so what i'm going to do is i will go to my project once again go to the sub folder called source right click it go to new and go to other and in here i will choose window builder and in sklite designer i will choose application window click next and now i want to give the path or the name of the uh, new class i'm going to make so this will be my login login class so i will name it as login okay and i will finish and now you will be able to see this uh, class which is created for us right so we go to the designer and for this video we will not do uh, uh, much but we will just check the connection with the database okay so we will leave this as a blank but we will go to the source and we will go to the source at the top of this in login.java class and in here i will find the constructor for this login class which is public login and it already has this method which is uh, generated by eclipse which is initialize method and just below this initialize method what i'm going to do is i want to uh, call that class connection uh, java connection class here to uh, check my connection so what i'm going to do is i will just go at the top or you can do it here also but it's uh, better to do just after this declaration of the frame but yeah you can do it uh, just above this constructor which uh, how you can find the constructor it has the same name as your class okay so just find the na same name as class and initialize method it has initialize method and just above that i will call this class okay so what i'm going to do is here also first of all i need to add uh, those um, import which i have used in sklite connection class so i will just copy these two imports which is import java.sql and import java x.swing right and i will paste these two connections here okay and now in above your constructor you can write the uh, connection connection con is equal to null and then we will make a result set or we will make it later and this connection con we are going to use globally so just use this con variable or i will make it as a more clear connection so you know that this is the connection to the database okay just call this connection so just copy this object from here and just write is equal to and just copy the name of the class which is uh, sklite connection class right the name of the class dot or method which is db connector method okay so this db connector is this method if you can see here this db connector is this connection and we can show some message here with before uh, returning so that we know that uh, our connection is successful so just uh, below this connection in sklite connection dot database just above return connection you can show this message that our connection is successful so i can write connection successful okay so what i have done in the login class i have just called this connection class from java.sklite class 
and I have in the constructor of this login class I have just called this connection is equal to the class which is SQLite connection dot the method in which I have uh, connected to the database let's try to run the program it if it works or not I will right click and let's see if we can make this project as our main project or we can when we run it we will be able to choose this so we have this here login and connection click OK and it's saying the message Java dot long class not found exception org dot dot jdbc let's see what is the error okay so I will just close this file and I will find the error and then come back so I found out the error. The error is I haven't added this SQLite ODBC or JDBC jar file to my project. To use this SQLite uh, database to connect to our project with Java, we need to add some jar to our project so that uh, we uh, can uh, connect SQLite to the Java. So to download this SQLite uh, JDBC jar file, I will uh, put this link in the description, which is https colon slash slash bitbucket dot org slash x e real slash SQLite JDBC. Okay, so I will put this link in the description. Then you will be able to download uh, this. Uh, file and in here you need, need to go to download and in here you need to download repository so just click this button download repository and it will uh, download a folder like this so I will open this folder and in this folder you will have some jars so I will go to lib and in here I will search for these jar SQLite and yeah include windows I will search for these jars now so I think I downloaded the wrong repository so this is the repository but I don't find any jar file there so I will uh, one by one uh, download all the jar files so first of all this one and I will keep it second one and the third one I will keep it all keep and fourth one keep it fifth one and it will be downloaded and sixth one and the seventh one so I will all download all these uh, jar files and once I have these downloads I'll go to the folder where I have downloaded them so in the folder so these are all the downloads for the jar file I have here now in order to add this jar file in your project what you need to do is go to your Eclipse uh, project in here so go to your project here and you will have uh, this JRE system library automatically created by Eclipse for you in your project so search for this JRE system library right click it and go to build path and in build path go to configure build path okay so once again go to this JRE system library right click build path configure build path and in here you can add uh, these jar files in your uh, libraries so to add those SQLite uh, jar file just go click this add jar button and then you can browse for your uh, jar files I think 
and here there is no jar file so I what I need to do is first of all I will just I will make a new folder so what I have done I have in source or in company itself in the project I will right click in my project and I will create new folder and in here I will create a folder name uh, for example the sources okay and I will finish so I have this uh, folder here so what I can do is wherever my downloads are I can just select those downloads and let's see we can drag and drop these in our folder or not drag these files in this folder copy files okay and now I have all these file of jar files here now I will go to this JRE once again JRE system library right click build path configure build path add a jar in the libraries add jar and in company I have this folder resources and I can I think multi select them and click OK and once I have done that let me see if they are there or not so once I have done that I think they will be added in here these files you see so I will click OK and now these files are here resource referenced libraries okay so you will be able to see them here now once you have all these sklite dash jdbc file i will run my program once again and let's see what happens and now i can see connection successful and when i see connection successful message i know that i have successfully connected to my database so don't forget to add these sklite jdbc jar file and i will provide the link uh, for uh, them so you can download all the jar files uh, from that uh, link and just add like i have done and this message you were seeing when i ran the program connection successful here is the connection if you see this line which i have created connection successful that means you are connected to the database okay once again connection successful so in this way you can create a SQLite database and connect it to our java gui project in the next video i will show you how you can create a login page and go further okay so i, I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now